Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania making sudden unexpected trip during ongoing recovery that will infuriate Michelle Obama. A date with the Queen of England? First Lady Melania Trump is set to meet Queen Elizabeth II in the United Kingdom next month. The former model from Slovenia, 48, is expected to come with President Donald Trump on his upcoming trip to the UK in mid-July. This will be President Trump's first visit to Britain in an official capacity. This is Melania's first plane trip since her unexpected kidney operation in mid-May and the presidential couple is expected to meet Her Majesty at Windsor Castle. The first couple is expected to stay at the U.S. Ambassador's residence of Winfield House at Regent's Park in the capital for the duration of their stay. Reports that the President and the First Lady will be honored by Britain's oldest regiment, No. 7 Company of the Coldstream Guards, during their visit. The regiment has served in nearly every major battle since the War for Southern Independence or the Civil War. It is believed the President and Mrs. Trump will be honored by No. 7 Company of the Coldstream Guards, Britain's oldest regiment, pictured being inspected by the Queen at Windsor Castle in 2012 photo credit, Daily Mail. The Coldstream Guards are one of five regiments which make up the Queen's Guard, infantry and cavalry soldiers best known for standing outside Buckingham Palace and other royal residences. There is also expected to be a photo opportunity with Her Majesty for the first couple. The upcoming British invasion by the first couple is sure to leave former First Lady Michelle Obama steaming mad. During her time as First Lady, Michelle spent far more time hobnobbing with the rich and famous and attempting to befriend royalty and members of the Hollywood elite than she did about helping real, working Americans. Since leaving the White House, her priorities are have not changed. Following the birth of the third son of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Michelle showed her usual lack of decorum and class but this time on a world stage. Upon calling the Duke and Duchess to offer her congratulations on the birth of their third child she then promptly invited herself and former President Barack Obama back to Kensington Palace for a pajama party to meet the new prince. Well, as we all know Michelle conducted herself more as though she believed herself to be royalty, rather than the first lady of a constitutional republic with a mantra for the people, by the people though perhaps more of the Marie Antoinette variety telling everyday Americans to eat cake. The Hill reported that Prince William and Kate Middleton were overjoyed to welcome their third child, a healthy baby boy. Of course, Michelle immediately took to social media. She used the picture to wave around saying, Look at me. Look at me. Look how important I am. Look who I know. We have inside jokes. See? I have inside knowledge. All in an effort to wrangle that much coveted invitation to Kensington Palace. Unlike Michelle, Melania exhibits grace and class. She is much beloved of the American people. She has been missed during her lengthy absence from the public eye due to her unexpected surgery and subsequent five-day hospital stay at Walter Reed Medical Center. Detractors and haters have used Melania's illness to stoke the rumor mill that Melania and President Trump had split. Melania took to Twitter to dispel those rumors, tweeting, I see the media is working overtime speculating where I am and what I'm doing. Rest assured, I'm here at the at White House W my family, feeling great and working hard on behalf of children and the American people. Her first public appearance following the surgery was on June 5, some 27 days after she disappeared from the public eye. The June 5 appearance was at a reception for military families who have lost a relative in action. She was also seen the next day in Washington, D.C., at a briefing from the Federal Emergency Management Agency on hurricane preparedness. The first couple appeared as strong as ever, with President Trump introducing our great first lady and stating, she went through a little rough patch but she's doing great. The room exploded into applause and President Trump added as he reached out to touch his wife's hand, the people love you. Thank you, honey. She did not attend the G7 summit in Canada or the Singapore summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un due to flying restrictions from her surgery. She has now been cleared and looks forward to the upcoming July 13 trip with President Trump to meet the Queen, despite the angst of liberals. Melania has proven many times to be a gracious, genuinely warm woman and has served her husband well in her capacity as First Lady, as evidenced by her reception in last year's whirlwind tour of the Middle East, Europe, and Asia. Melania remarked of the trip, It has been a great trip and many strides have been made. My husband worked very hard on behalf of our country and I'm very proud of him. This trip has also been incredible for me as the First Lady. Previous visits by the first couple to the United Kingdom have been cancelled following fears of mass protests, but this occasion appears to be going ahead. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.